For a 10% discount from Regston, simply enter the discount code HORPIUS at the checkout. Hello, Hopeus Maximus here, and I've got a short video for you. I hope you find it interesting. As you'll have seen by the thumbnail and the screen at the back, it's about how a penny could save your life. Uh, so I think I better explain. When we go out detecting, we all like to find certain things. For me, I love to find the silver hammered coins. I like to find the artifacts that I don't know what they are. And then I do the research, and then when I do a video, I'll put in the information. But I must admit that copper pennies and half pennies have never done that much for me. That was until the last video, and it's on there, where I do a live dig, and I find that. And that's an 1883 copper Victorian penny. But it's absolutely spot on. beautiful condition and I started to admire it and it just so happens at the same time um, Digger Dawn who's got a YouTube channel and she's got a Facebook group and I'm in that group I'll put the uh, links below the video in, in the video description she wrote a few lines about uh, a copper penny and the, and the workhouse so I did a bit of research and <laughs> I was shocked that about a hundred years ago, eighteen, the late eighteen hundreds to the early nineteen hundreds, times were so hard, and people were destitute and on the street, and the winters were really bitter. That that one penny really could have saved your life. So I'll never look on the humble penny the same again. I'll do a voiceover now. There'll be a couple of images um, and. I just hope you find it interesting. If you do like and you haven't subscribed so far, please subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon. You'll be notified when I post a future video. Uh, so let's go and have a look. So from Hopius Maximus and my beautiful 1883 copper penny, it's bye for now. We go back not that long ago to a grim time for the poor. The Salvation Army was founded in London's East End in 1865 by William Booth. It was originally called the Christian Mission, but changed its name to the Salvation Army in 1878. Move forward five years now and we're in 1883. That's the year of the coin that I found. So what did the Salvation Army offer? Well, at the low end was what was called a penny sit-up. That's where you could get food and shelter from the cold in exchange for a penny. And you were allowed to sit on a bench all night. But you were sitting on the bench. You were not allowed to sleep. You were not allowed to lie down. But for an additional penny, you could opt for the two-penny hangover, which was like a penny sit-up except a taut rope stretched in front of the bench and you were allowed to sleep because you would lean over, hang your arms over the rope and try and get to sleep. But again, you were not allowed to lie down flat on your back. But if you had four pennies, you could stay at what was called a coffin house where you received food and shelter and you were allowed to lie down flat on your back and sleep 
in a coffin-shaped wooden box and you had a tarpaulin you could pull over yourself. Harsh times indeed and that's why now when I find the copper pennies I'll look on them a bit differently now. And that's it for this video folks. I hope you found at least some of it interesting. My next video will be of the items I found whilst out metal detecting, as well as some absolutely stunning items some of my friends have found at my local club. So till then, from Hopeus Maximus, it's bye for now. <laughs>